Hi guys and welcome to Mac Mondays and today we are doing kind of like a nice pink gray springy look if you will. Uh, this is like one of my go-to spring looks. It's not exactly neutral although it could be because gray to me is a neutral shade and pink is just like a such a fun pick-me-up shade. Then I've got kind of like a Hmm, a silvery pink lip going on and a very light blush. So let's just jump right into doing the eye. I got one eye done, one eye not done, and we are just going to jump into the eye. I've already done my eyebrow and I've already laid down um, Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion, but I am going to use two MAC Paint Pots. And I'm first going to lay down one called uh, Stormy Pink. And this it's a color that I don't use as much. So I definitely want to play around with that today. It is a pinky gray. And it looks, I guess it would look more gray than pink. But it looks like a pinky gray. <laughs> So I'm going to lay this down. This is going to go on my mobile lid and I'm going to take it a little bit up into the crease with the most concentration of color being on the mobile lid. Because I really want, well I'm going to lay another pinky color down that is almost about done guys. And that's not due to me using it. It's due to it drying out and I have a little bit left and I want to use it up. So you see how I kind of take, took it up into the crease a little bit? That's all I wanted to do, just to have that peeking through once we start laying down the other shadows. And then this color is called um, Good Fortune. And it's a silvery, it's a silver kind of a pink with a little bit of frost on it. And I am just going to put this on the mobile lid. And you see, you'll see the sparkles once I get it on there. Whoops, got a little bit too much. But you will see the sparkles a little bit. There you go right there. My nails are starting to grow back so it's not as easy to blend it in as when I don't have any nails. But see it almost looks like a little lavender color. And I like this actually, guys, right here could be an eye look. Those two paint pots. Okay. So then this was an old quad that came out. And I'll put it in the description box. But it is primarily grays and a silver and one pink called CD Pearl. Which is really, really pretty. And what I'm going to do with this pink instead of wiping it on I'm going to pat it on because I want the concentration of color on there you know what before I do that let me get my favorite brush my Sigma E38 brush dip into this mid-tone gray up on the top and lay down just a little bit of a gray transition shade it's kind of I think it's pretty and like I always say, guys, you want to hit that uh, your first point of contra contact to be the outer corner because you don't want that concentration of color to be in the center of your eye. You don't want it to be on your outer V. Okay, so there we are. Now, I'm just going to smush it into this, make sure I load that brush up really good then I'm just gonna pack it on see how just pack it on no going back and forth no wiping back and forth because then you kind of uh, dilute the concentration of color just pack it on see that there there you go. Now I'm just going to pick up that brush again and just smooth that out a little bit. 
Now I already, I didn't put any um, eyebrow highlight on. I just have on my uh, NW35 concealer on my brow as a highlight. Y'all know I don't like a whole lot of shiny going on up there. Then I'm going to jump into this Real Techniques crease brush, use that. And then this deeper gray, I'm going to use this for my outer V. I'm really liking this Real Techniques brush, guys. Any gray will do. This, I believe, is print. And so, you know, you just down here and then just into that crease area to deepen it up, give it a little definition. And this is a big difference from last week's <laughs> vibrant colors. But, you know, you change it up every now and again. We'll play with some more colors this, later on this week. There we go. I still want that pink to shine through. I'm going to take a um, MAC 217, blend that in using circular motions. Take a little bit of it into the actual crease, not much. That concentration of that deeper gray, which is print at the outer V. Take a little bit into the crease, just a little bit. And guys, and then I was going to use a phone number, but I thought that on the um, YouTube it wouldn't show up. So I didn't. I'm going to grab my um, perversion. And that's just for video purposes, guys, because I normally would use the um, phone number because that's deep enough in, in person, but it just wouldn't show through on um, video. So then you just kind of like tight line. And then I'm going to smoke it out with that print, that, um, that gray. Once I get through doing this. It just really defines the eye on camera, this perversion does. And I'm just gonna take a like a pencil brush, dip into this print. And guys, like I've said before, you do not have to have a matte color. You could have any gray and it would work. You do not have to have the matte color. Then I'm going to take that gray again and take it across the top. Just smudge it real close to the lash line. And you will see that these MAC eyes, guys, I mean, for right now, we're not doing anything really complicated. They don't take that long. And there we go. That's the eye. Now, you can always deepen up that crease if you want to. If you want to, you can add a little black at the outer corner to give it a little bit more depth. Um, I choose not to. Uh, I think that gray is nice and soft enough. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is pop on my eyelash, guys. And then I am going to come back and tell you what I got on, tell you a little bit about my jewelry, tell you about the lip, the cheeks, everything else. Okay, okay guys, we are back. As you can see, I've got my eyelash on, and let's just go over really quick what I have on my eyes for one more time. Um, this is a quad, and it's called per Perverted Pearl. And it's got the color CD Pearl, Black Pearl, Perverted Pearl, and Print. And so, yeah, this is Print right here. And this is CD Pearl. And I believe this one is uh, Perverted Pearl. 
and then I forget what the other one is but I didn't use this one anyway I just use these three colors this one is on my lid my mobile lid the pink color and guys CD Pearl is no longer available but sometimes they re-promote this color print is part of uh, the regular line the permanent line and then this other gray up here is called uh, black pearl and but this is just a regular mid-tone per uh, gray guys it's nothing special it's not a dual chrome it's a matte and then this is CD pearl which is kind of like a frost but if any kind of frost pink shadow would do and print is again another matte deep gray so all of these colors are dupable it's not like you have to have that palette so I try to when I do the Mac um, Mondays I try to get colors that if they are if they are discontinued are or if they were limited edition I try to get them or pick the colors so that they're easily dupable you know all right so I have this this pink on the lid this perverted uh, pearl which is a mid-tone gray on my transition color uh, area and then I had the print which is the deep gray the outer V and a little bit into the crease and to smoke out the bottom lash line and the upper lash line now I did something a little different because I usually don't use two paint pots I started out with this uh, stormy pink which is a pinky pinky gray kind of color which is actually a gray with a little bit of pink undertone it's it's really it's a, a, a different color but when you swatch it it looks gray but then when you look at it in the pot it looks more it looks more um, pink um, so I use this on the mobile lid I laid this down first mobile lid and in a little bit into the crease area to give me a nice base for that uh, that perverted pearl on top of it and then on my mobile lid what I use was this color and it's a really pretty kind of a um, frosty shimmery kind of a pink and again this one is discontinued as well or it was a limited edition and it's really pretty but again you can use any paint pot base pinky base um, on the mobile lid on top of a grayish color would do and yeah then my normal demi wispies now for my cheeks guys I use cubic and you all know this is a pretty springy pink I mean you could use it all year round but it's just such a nice light fun color and unobtrusive I mean it won't take away from your eyes it won't take away from your lips so um, if you're doing like a strong statement eye or if you're doing a strong lip cubic is a really nice choice for a pink color um, and I think it'll go with a lot of skin tones I mean I'm not real real dark and I'm not real real I'm not light so I'm kind of in between tone and I think that this just complements so many skin tones um, and then for my highlight I went back to my dynamic dual guys I used my net magnetic appeal and my perfectly poised and I had a comment um, about my nails and someone had asked well they didn't ask but they said my, my nail color was pretty and I forgot to put in the comment what uh, the nail polish um, color was and the nail polish color is pink bubble and believe it or not guys I got this from it was either learners learners New York or it was um, Lane Bryant so yeah because you can see the the New York and company and a while ago Lane Bryant and learners and limited and limited express and structures and Victoria's Secret were owned by the limited corp and um, I've had this for a couple of years and 
I got it from either, why did I say Learners? Because Learners was not owned by, well, yeah, it could have been. Now I'm going off on a rant. Whatever, guys. <laughs> I got this from either Learners or uh, Lane Bryant. And, um, yeah. And that's what's on my nails. And I like it. And now I say that to say this. I've had this for like two or three years. And I kid you not, the first time I wore this was last month. Because I was looking at it like, yeah, right. This is going to be too, I don't know. I didn't think it was going to be a me kind of a color. But it is. So, again, guys, look at, take a look at what you got. You never, never, never know. Okay, now. Let's jump onto the lips. I use for my liner Max Pro. I think that this is just a staple. I have been using this for years to go with my like mauve or rose lips. This is Max Plum, but it, you know what? I want to say through the years, I think they put a little bit more red in it or something. It seems a little different. And I know it's Mac Monday, but I had to dip into um, my pale pink from NYX. And I just applied that on top of my um, Max Plum. And you see how it kind of dulled it out a little bit. And that's the kind of effect that I was going for because I didn't want a bigger ring, reddish ring around my lips. Now... The lipsticks that I choose to use, guys, Privet, which is this pretty icy blue pink. And then on top of that, I use uh, Pretty Please, both by MAC. Now, what I love about these shades, guys, is as you can see on my lips, again, these are pretty shades that I think will complement a lot of skin tones. And it just says to me, Spring. I mean, although you can use it all year round because I do, but Prevet is a shade that I have purchased a couple of times. I've purchased that a couple of times. I love that shade, Prevet by MAC. So that is pretty much it for the makeup, guys. Now, let me talk about these earrings. And funny story about these earrings is they're not sterling silver, but they are like enamel with rhinestones in them and I bought these earrings guys in specific to to kind of blend in with a sandal that I bought from um DSW and the sandal has like enamel roses on it for, it's like a thong sandal a leather thong sandal and it has a couple of like little rhinestones in it. And I'm like, I saw these earrings. I don't even know where I saw them at. I could have seen them at DSW because I do believe that they sell jewelry there. But I saw them and I was like, I had to get them because they were just so cute. And they just said, Spring, I'm going to give you a closer look. I just thought that they were so cute. And they just said, Spring, all over them, guys. And gonna take me a minute to get this in focus oh gosh okay there we is that in focus yeah and it's just got all of these nice little colors on there it's blue yellow green and then it's got a couple of rhinestones in there and the pinks and the blues and you could just do so many things with it. I think it's just such a cute spring earring and of course you could wear this all year round but you know it just it's kind of dainty and feminine and it just said to me spring so um that is what I got it for and I saw it when I bought the sandal and that's what you know, that's why I bought them to match the sandal or to blend in with the sandal. And you could just pick up on any any one of these colors in the stone. You could get a, um, like I just have on a plain clear stud right up here on my cartilage. But you could do a green one. You could do a pink one. You could do a blue one. You could do a yellow one. Whichever and whatever outfit that you have on. But I just thought that those were really cute. And then I just have on a 
cute little swirly sterling silver ring and then my bangles and that is it for my um jewelry and mac monday comment below tell me i don't know tell me what makes you feel springy what color makes you feel springy i know pink you can wear all year round but it's just such a a bright color and i think of spring and when you put it on your lid it just brightens me up i don't know why it just does um yeah i i just all the pastel colors guys just remind me of spring that's why i whipped out these earrings so okay guys that's it for mac mondays um and let me tell you too before before i forget uh i had uh, um a viewer she made like a suggestion which I was kind of thinking about but she just kind of drove it home she asked me would I do a series of um, play with your lip playing with your lipsticks um, and yeah I kind of like that and so I was thinking that maybe once a week I would just play in the lipsticks um, come on with a neutral eye and uh, we'll play in lipsticks and glosses and pigments and make different kind of lippies. And I would try to pull out colors, like I said, that are dupable so that if you don't, you don't have, have that matte color, um, it's something that could probably be found in like something similar in Wet n Wild or CoverGirl or Revlon or whatever. And it's not going to necessarily be just MAC. It's going to be whatever. Like like last week I played in the Kat Von D. So it could be um, it could be MAC. It could be Revlon. It could be uh, just any anything. Um, Wet n Wild, NYX any number of things so yeah I thought that that would be pretty fun and the reason why too is that I think that you, <laughs> lips more than anything that's the way you could just change your look so quickly you know what I'm saying you could go from if you have a neutral eye on you could go from a from a neutral lip to a red lip or to a um, pink lip or whatever you want to do and then reds you can change to oranges and pinks you can change to fuchsias or you can change it to purples or you can just change oh i think it's gonna be fun um so i think i will add that on i haven't decided what day i'm kind of thinking maybe like um a wednesday because we do mac mondays and that's just going to be standing we're going to do mac monday so um I'm thinking maybe Wednesday we will do um, the lip because I know last summer I was thinking about doing uh, a series and I was going to call it Freaky Freaky Lip Friday or something. I don't know. I might I might make it a Friday, guys, because I kind of like that. I kind of like that Freaky Lip Friday thing for some reason um, because again. We're not going to just mess with the traditional colors. We go, we'll do some blacks. We'll do some grays. We'll do some greens, blues, purples. So, yeah. So, maybe I might I might put that on Fridays and come up with something else on Wednesday. If you have a suggestion for something that you would like to see on Wednesday, put it below. Uh, comment. Let me know. So, I might, yeah. I think I'm going to do the lips on Friday. And uh, then we'll go from there. Um yeah so i think that that's it i'm going to come back with my makeup basket for this week so i'll have the same garb on okay guys see you in a few <laughs>